We've made it to the ninth and final great album of last year. This is by Alexis on Fire. The album is called Otherness, and this is their first album in 13 years. So this is a big deal. And I was able to get two special guests that are going to help me out uh, in talking about this album. Uh, and they're they're going to share why it is that this album came to be, what, what happened that allowed everybody to come together and make a new album, which was not a part of the plan. I go so far back with Alexis on Fire that I saw them in the early 2000s at Babylon in Ottawa in front of maybe 300 people. And then a few years later at the London Music Hall in front of a thousand people. And a few years after that at the Ottawa Civic Centre with the U's and there was two or 3,000 people. Then at a festival in Toronto, there's 10 or 15,000 people. And I just saw them last summer in Ottawa at Blues Fest. They were one of the headliners and there was like 30 or 40,000 people just to show the the progression that they've made over the years, becoming one of Canada's best, biggest, most beloved bands. One thing that's pretty wild is on Metacritic, the album has a 92% average review score, uh, which makes it actually the second highest rated album of the year period. Out of the thousands of albums released in 2022, it's the second highest rated. And to give you some perspective, the front runner this year to win the Album of the Year award at the Grammys is Beyonce with her album Renaissance, which has a 91% review score. Now, I was able to get not one, but both of the recording engineers that recorded this album with Alexis on fire. And, and they have some amazing behind the scenes information. Uh, so up first, we have Jill Zimmerman, who is the one of the two recording engineers. And this is what Jill has to say. Glad to hear their album made it. The majority of the record was done in seven days with only a few days for overdubs and the constant flow of creativity was ecstatic. I had to always be record ready because instead of recording a million takes, they knew when it was the right one and there wasn't much editing on it at all. Pretty much just raw talent from the guys. Well, also Darren and my talent to capture their magic, of course. So that's Jill Zimmerman. She mentioned Darren in there, who's the other recording engineer. And here's what Darren had to say. This is a long one, so stick with me. The song Blue Spade was actually written by the bass player Steel, who has never written an Alexis on Fire song before. It's a deeply personal song that's resonated with a lot of people. Blue Spade is also the first song George Sing sings, which was sort of a serendipitous thing that happened in the studio. It wasn't rehearsed or planned ahead of time. Sans Soleil was actually written by Wade, but many have assumed Dallas wrote it because he's singing all of the lead vocals on it. The most magical thing about the album is it was recorded in February of 2021 when the world was very locked down. We all got tested, cleared, then shacked up in the studio for two weeks. Many people in the crew had not been around any people in a long time, so it was a very cool experience in that sense. The album never would have happened if it wasn't for lockdowns. So that's looked at as a small silver lining within all the negative aspects of the lockdown. It's the only way that all of the guys in the band were able to be home and grounded and not occupied with life or other musical projects. The guitar solo for Blue Spade is a trade-off with Dallas going first, then Wade midway through to the end. It was all recorded live at the same time on the studio floor with the volume so loud it was actually bleeding into the guitar's pickups. There's a cool ghosting effect that came out of the result. We were all stoked when it happened. I could go on and on and on, but hopefully that gives you some juicy bits that nobody knows about because I've never talked about it until now. So that's Darren Magaroski, recording engineer on the album. And if you're going to check out just three songs, check out Sans Soleil, Mistaken Information, and Committed to the Con. 